Today we're finding out if a rough surface actually does matter. I've got two near identical rackets here, both the same shape, material, feel. It's just one of them has a really rough surface and one has a really smooth surface. We're gonna do two main tests. We're gonna be doing slicing on the volleys and then creating top spin on our smash to see if there really is a difference. Does it help top spin, side spin, slice, or is it just pointless? Let's try some slice volleys with the Alipower control first. This is the one with the really rough surface. Let's see if I can kind of grip the ball a little bit, feel any slice and see if it really does make much of a difference. I can definitely, shit. <laughs> I can definitely feel the grip on the ball and I can feel that I'm using something with a rough surface. Whether I felt like I was getting more spin, I'm not sure. Let me try with the smooth surface now. I wanna see if it feels like I'm getting less spin. Okay, one thing to say, it definitely feels like I'm using something with a smooth surface here. It almost feels, I guess, a bit firmer and that I'm almost, I can feel something smooth hitting a ball, whereas that one I can feel something grippy. It definitely hasn't made my shots way better or harder to get back so far. Both have been able to generate lots of spin with. I just kind of was aware that it had a rough surface. So, so far I haven't noticed too much of a difference. I think top spin is gonna be the real test because that's where you can really brush up the ball. So you can literally see how much spin you've been able to generate on the ball from how much it kicks up on the back glass. Let's do that. All right, I'm going to try smooth racket first and try and get loads of top spin. Let me try now with the rough surface. Really try and grip it. From that challenge in particular, I think this one did show a little bit more pop. What I'm gonna to do to make it a bit more fair is I'm gonna have another go with this one because you obviously when you smash, you need to warm up a little bit. So there could be a bit of lack of power when I first start. Let me have one more go with this. One thing I know for certain, you can definitely feel a difference in the sense that I can feel the ball running across this. And same when I hit with this, I can feel it against the smooth surface. That for a fact. Initially on that smash test, we were thinking this, this was better and it was popping more, but then now I've gone back to the head again, I pop a couple out. We're gonna practice a little bit more with them and then I'll tell you my final verdict of whether a rough surface really matters. So does a rough surface really matter? Do you really need this surface? Because I know a lot of the time you'll see two rackets and it seems to be the only difference is the rough surface and that's gonna cost another 30 pounds. I think the rough surface, 99% of players and just casually playing like I just did there, you're not gonna be able to tell a difference in terms of the quality of the ball output. You will be able to feel it. You'll be able to feel I'm using a rough surface or a smooth one, but you're not gonna be like, oh wow, my shots are so much better, they've got so much more spin because of the rough surface. Now, this isn't to say you should just never get a rough surface, like it's a complete scam, it doesn't, it doesn't give you more spin, let's just never get that, because I still think it's really, really cool. I love the feel, I think it looks really good on a racket, I think it makes the racket look more luxury. It doesn't harm your play at all, it doesn't make any of your shots harder to do. A much bigger factor for choosing rackets is the shape, balance, weight and material. Now a lot of the brands do say that the rough surface increases spin. They could be right, but you can see from those tests there, it's only gonna be you know, a 1% difference. At the end of the day, the best way to improve your spin and your slice is by improving your technique. And you can do that by watching this video right here.